Dizemos não ao racismo. Dizemos não ao racismo. 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 Top 10 most racist moments in football. Number 10, Mario Balotelli. Balotelli gave Brescia the lead after 18 minutes of the match against Lazio in January and shortly afterwards complained to the referee about the abuse. It's already the second time, Balotelli told referee Gianluca Manganiello after half an hour with the latter replying, now I'll take care of it. The referee briefly interrupted the match, and Lazio coach Simone Inzaghi gestured in front of the visiting fans to stop the chanting. Lazio fans that were today at the stadium, shame on you. Hashtag say no to racism, Balotelli posted on his Instagram after the game. Italian international Balotelli previously faced racist chanting during his team's 2-1 defeat against Verona in November. In the 55th minute of the match, Mario Balotelli decided he had heard enough. Taunted by a chorus of monkey chants from fans of the opposing Verona team, the 29-year-old, who was one of Italy's best-known sportsmen, opted to hoof the ball into the stands, forcing the referee to halt the game. Number 9. Danny Alves one of the most popular clips of the last few years involves Barcelona's ex-right-back Dani Alves. The marauding Brazilian defender was playing against Spanish opposition Villarreal, but was subjected to a fan throwing a banana at him. After it hit the turf, Alves picked up the banana and took a bite before taking a corner. Villarreal was later fined around $15,000 for the incident by the Spanish Football Federation. This sparked a global social media drive against racism with a number of different players getting involved. Depicting eating a banana, it was later satirized by the likes of Sergio Aguero and Luis Suarez. Number 8. John Terry During a Chelsea vs Queen's Park Rangers game, Video footage began swarming around the internet. The clip showed Terry saying an alleged racist slur to Anton Ferdinand, the brother of former Manchester United defender Rio, who is black. This incident gained plenty of momentum as papers from around the world picked up on it. In an embittered Crown Court case which lasted four days, former England skipper Terry was found innocent of racial abuse. Number 7. Luis Suarez In a match between Liverpool and Manchester United in 2011, Luis Suarez was accused of abusing Patrice Evra using racial slurs. Suarez had maintained that though he had used the word Negro, it held a different meaning in Spanish and was used in that very context. As a result of Evra's claims, the Uruguayan was deemed to be guilty. The racial abuse charge carried a hefty fine in the region of $90,000, while Suarez was banned from playing for eight matches. However, this did not help matters, and in a later game at Old Trafford, it came to a head. It was the first time that Suarez and Ivra had crossed paths since this infamous incident. As Suarez went down the line of players, he refused to shake the Frenchman's hand. This was to go down in history books as yet another controversial moment of the bitter rivalry between both Manchester United and Liverpool. Number 6. Spanish National Team The end of 2004 was not a wonderful moment for the Spanish national side. They had been involved in not one, but two racial situations involving not only the team, but also the manager at the time. In the first instance, England was supposed to play a harmless friendly that was to take place in Madrid. But later, what resulted was the vile abuse of several English black players, including Ashley Cole, as well as Sean Wright Phillips, 
monkey chants were hurled at both individuals. Later that year, Spain coach Luis Aragonés landed himself in hot water. This was largely in part thanks to geeing up his player José Antonio Reyes as they were about to face France. Unfortunately, Aragonés referred to Gallic star Thierry Henry as a black <laughs> Number 5. Real Zaragoza While playing for the Catalan giants of FC Barcelona, Samuel Itu had to undergo racial abuse. This took place in February 2005 when Barcelona faced Real Zaragoza away from the Camp Nou. What unfolded was pretty awful as the Cameroon international had to hear a host of monkey noises every time he touched the ball. Meanwhile, another Zaragoza fan even threw peanuts. All of this was simply because he was black. But 12 months later, he nearly walked off in protest. The exact same chanting occurred, but Itu was not prepared to take any more abuse. When Itu almost walked off the pitch, he could be seen saying in Spanish, no mas, or no more, over and over again. Number 4. Paulo de Canio A maverick figure at times, Paulo de Canio has in time pushed over a referee, not to mention started fights with his own players. This particular incident happened during his time in Serie A, which later earned him a ban for one game. The fascist salute made by De Canio took place on separate occasions against Livorno and Juventus. The most controversial episode was when he made the same salute at the end of a game when his former club Lazio beat their arch enemies Roma by three goals to one. Number 3. Malky McKay McKay was a common fixture in news headlines when his anti-Semitic, fatphobic and sexist sentiments came to light. The former Premiership manager was under investigation on account of a series of texts between himself and Ian Moody. He was known to use phrases such as fat Jew and chinks and in another text with a colleague he said, go on fat Phil. Nothing like a Jew that sees money slipping through his fingers. Number 2. Ron Atkinson Commentators should always know when the microphone is on them. Apparently, some are exempt from this rule, as in the case of Ron Atkinson. In April 2004, the ex-Aston Villa and Manchester United manager was commentating on a match between Chelsea and Monaco. Unfortunately, to his surprise, Atkinson's comments on French defender Marcel Desailly were picked up. This was detrimental to Atkinson as he believed that his microphone was switched off and commented on the Frenchman's defending as what is known in some schools as a f lazy thick f He was later sacked from his role with the British broadcasting station ITV. Finally, number one, Kevin Prince Boateng. In early January 2013, things became ugly when AC Milan played a pre-season friendly with a lower league club, Pro Patria. AC Milan's player, Boateng, had faced open displays of racism before and always ignored it. 25 minutes into the match, Boateng couldn't take the monkey noises and name-calling any longer and snapped. He took the ball booted it in the direction of the abusers and stormed off the field. The moment became a show of solidarity as all the players walked off the field in support of Boateng. He later told the reporters, I said to myself, in this kind of environment, in this situation, I don't want to play football anymore.